At this time, I would like to everyone to stand up and we will sing National Anthem Indonesia Raya and Asian Anthem. Please stand up. Indonesia Suah, Mabuhai, Sawadikap, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning, everybody. Please welcome Dr. Insinyur Imran Bulkin, MRP, as a Deputy Minister for Regional Development and Local Autonomy, Minister of National Development Planning, or BAPNAS. Also welcome Madam Beate Trotman as a country director UNDP, Madam Elaine Tan, executive director Asian Foundation, Mr. Stephen Rodriguez, deputy country director UNDP. Also our special guest, Her Excellency Pakamisa Agustin Sifuba as Ambassador of South Africa to Indonesia. Also, Her Excellency Ena Vian Valdes, Ambassador of Cuba to Indonesia. Representative from Thailand, Malaysia, Cambodia, Philippines, and Indonesia. Also, welcome all distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to ASEAN Forum Meeting on SSTC UNDP PGSP Project with the program Advancing Regional Integration, Connecting ASEAN Province and Strengthening Partnership Through South-South Cooperation in June 2014. At this time, I would like to welcome for Dr. Insinyur Imran Bulkin MRP 
as Deputy Minister for Regional Development and Local Autonomy, Minister of National Development Planning Agency, to give us a keynote speech for Dr. Imran Bolken. Please come to the stage. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Selamat pagi, good morning, honorable governors, mayors of provinces and cities of ASEAN, country director UNDP, Ms. Beth Trangman, executive director ASEAN Foundation, Ms. Ellen Tal, His Excellency, Mrs. Anna Vian Valdez, Ambassador of Cuba for Indonesia. His Excellency, Mr. Akamiza Agustin Sihuba, Ambassador of South Africa to Indonesia. Representative government and export from Republic of Indonesia, the Philippines, Thailand, Cambodia, and Malaysia, His Excellency Papa Makarem Wibisono, Excellencies, distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen. It is my great pleasure to welcome you all to Jakarta. And on behalf of the Minister for National Development Planning of Republic of Indonesia, I would like to extend my deep appreciation for your support and engagement to the convening of the ASEAN Forum meeting Advancing Regional Integration that seeks to connect and strengthen the partnerships among localities in ASEAN. Your presence here is the evidence of share desire to promote networking and mutual cooperation toward the realization of ASEAN motto, one vision, one identity, and one community. My special regard to our colleague from Thailand, who despite the challenge currently faced by the country, managed to come and participate in our event. Our heart and deepest sympathy are with you. I, I have to comment my tribute to the good works of our partners, the United Nations Development Program, and the ASEAN Foundation who brought us here together thus allow us to become champions in this combined regional development effort. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, your participation in this two-day workshop is continued breakthrough in the wake of ASEAN Community 2015. Just last year, during the 22nd ASEAN Summit in Bandar Seri, Bandar Seri Begawan, uh, ASEAN leaders mandate us to intensify the works to build strong, cohesive, and assimilated community for all people of ASEAN. It has been observed, however, that only small number of people understood and are aware of the convergence of ASEAN countries into a single market, a hub for trade, investment, and service, a rise of the South, the European of ASEAN. With the shifting global architecture of partnership for development toward more horizontal modalities, Fellow South countries emerge as promising associate. South South initiative and activities 
conducted at local level will contribute to play an important role in the development of ASEAN community. It is time for local government to open, to open up more and build networks of cooperation. I hope this two-day workshop produces innovative, creative ideas for us to cooperate to build upon our very own local resources to path ways into strengthening the role of local government and to make friends for life. Finally, by saying Bismillahirrahmanirrahim, I am pleased to declare the workshop is of officially open i wish you i wish you an enjoyable stay in jakarta and the warmth of our hospitality thank you wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh thank you mr imran bolkin please just uh, keep it on stage okay. So thank you for uh, coming to Mr. Imran Bolkem from UNDP. This is a placard from Madam Beate Trangman from uh, as a country director of UNDP. This time, since Mr. Uh, Imran Wilkin uh, must leave early from this uh, room, so we would like to take a photo session. As a Deputy Country Director, UNDP also join for a photo session. Okay, while we are uh, waiting uh, for the next uh, program, the next uh, we would like to welcome Madam Elaine Tan as Executive Director Asian Foundation to give us a welcome remarks. Please welcome Madam Elaine Tan. Ms. Biate Trackman, UNDP Country Director, and um, Dr. Imran Bulkim, Deputy Minister for Regional Development and Local Authority, Papinas, um, Ambassadors from Cuba and uh, South Africa to Indonesia, the Honorable Mayors, and His Excellency Pat Makarim Wibisuno, who is my predecessor uh, as Executive Director of ASEAN Foundation. Uh, distinguished participants, ladies and gentlemen, it is a great pleasure for me to welcome you all to the ASEAN Forum meeting on South-South and Triangular Cooperation. This meeting is a collaborative project by the ASEAN Foundation and the UNDP Provincial, Provincial Strengthening Program to advance regional integration by connecting ASEAN provinces and strengthening partnership through South-South Cooperation. The new buzzword for ASEAN is connectivity. The ASEAN Master's Plan on ASEAN Connectivity was adopted in October 2010, and it is intended to connect ASEAN through enhanced physical infrastructure development, physical connectivity, effective institutions, mechanisms and processes, institutional connectivity, and empowered people, people-to-people -people connectivity. The vision of ASEAN leaders to build an ASEAN community by 2050, 2015 calls for a well-connected ASEAN that will contribute towards a more competitive and resilient ASEAN as it will bring peoples, goods, services and capital closer together. And an enhanced ASEAN con connectivity is essential to achieve the ASEAN community, namely the ASEAN political security community the ASEAN Economic Community, and ASEAN Social Cultural Community. 
ASEAN is intensifying efforts to achieve the objective of establishing the ASEAN community. We are pushing ahead in our efforts to realize the ASEAN Economic Community by 2015 and implementing the initiatives to achieve the ASEAN single market and production base, including the trade facilitative initiatives such as the ASEAN self-certification system and the ASEAN single window, the ASEAN custom transit system, as well as other measures for the free flow of good services, investment and skilled labour and freer flow of capital. The theme for this ASEAN Forum on Regional Integration, Connectivity, Strengthening Partnerships and Cooperation resonates with the work of the ASEAN Foundation. The ASEAN Foundation, which was set up in December 1997 by the ASEAN leaders during the ASEAN 30th Anniversary Commemorative Summit, was to help bring about shared prosperity and a sustainable future for all 10, 10 member states in ASEAN. This was in recognition of the fundamental importance of improving the livelihoods and well-being of the peoples of Southeast Asia and the need to promote ASEAN awareness as well as people-to-people -people contact and wider participation in ASEAN activities. The Aspired ASEAN community is more than about being a hub of trade, investment and services. A very important objective of the ASEAN community is realising a people-oriented and people-centred ASEAN in which all sectors of society are encouraged to participate in and benefit from the process of ASEAN integration and community building. This means ASEAN must be rooted to its people. Participation and ownership of all sectors of society are paramount in the ASEAN community's building endeavours. A people-to-people -people connectivity will eventually create a greater sense of ASEAN consciousness to make ASEAN more relevant to the ordinary people of ASEAN, especially the younger generation. Once we have an ASEAN sense of belonging and an ASEAN consciousness developed in the younger generation through mutual trust and understanding, the future of ASEAN will be more assured to greater cohesive cohesion and solidarity. Ladies and gentlemen, this forum is an excellent platform to discuss and exchange ideas and best practices to further enhance the establishment of the ASEAN Community 2015. You'll be exploring the strengths of sub-regional cooperation at the provincial and city levels, leveraging on your unique strengths for mutual growth. Your deliberations will be indispensable in contributing to building an ASEAN Community. In this regard, I wish you every success in your meeting here in Jakarta. Thank you. Thank you so much, Madam Elintan, as our Executive Director, Asian Foundation.